ஹலோ எரிவன் வாம் வெல்கம் ஸோ இந்த லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் வி ஹவ் சி இந்த ஜூல் தோம்ஸ் அண்ட் கோஎபிஷன்ட் அண்ட் தி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் இட் இன் தி லோ டெம்பரேச்சர் ரெஃப்ரிஜரேஷன் டுடே ஐ வுட் லைக் டு கிவ் எ ப்ரீஃப் இன்ட்ரோடக்ஷன் டு லோ டெம்பரேச்சர் சயின்ஸ் நோனஸ் க்ரையோஜெனிக்ஸ் so usually cryogenics is a branch of science deals with very low temperature so if you say very low temperature what is actually is it very low previously whatever temperature which was below the usual refrigeration temperatures were considered to be very low temperatures but there was a clear definition on later stages that any temperature which is less than 123 kelvin 123 kelvin it is very easy to remember or minus 150 degree celsius is termed as cryogenic temperature so any temperature which is below 123 kelvin is considered to be cryogenic temperature and the science which deals with the properties and study in this temperature conditions is termed as cryogenics now let us examine the evolvement of this word cryogenics and history and what are the applications applications of cryogenics so what is cryogenics as i mentioned it is a branch of physics which deals with the production of very low temperatures specifically speaking less than minus 150 degree celsius or 123 kelvin and their effect on matter so it is associated with generation of low temperature below 123 kelvin and it has evolved from two words cryo and genics cryo means frost very cold frost cold okay genics to produce so to produce very cold that is the meaning of cryogenics so achieving these temperatures cryogenic temperatures requires compression and expansion of gases so it utilizes the compression and expansion of gases as you know when you compress a gas the temperature will increase so we are actually heating the air right then allowing that back to the room temperature but the pressure is maintained the same during expansion i mean during that cooling process not expansion during compression pressure and temperature will rise but at the same pressure the gas is allowed to cool back to the room temperature then further it will be cooled as well as expanded in an expansion device that will allow a portion of that cooled air to liquefy if there is 1 kg of air a portion of for example say some 100 grams or 200 grams of air may get liquefied depending on the process involved so that process compression and expansion of gases will result in the liquefied forms of oxygen since air contains oxygen nitrogen argon etc so this can be well suited to produce the liquefied forms of oxygen nitrogen and argon depending on the temperature involved to what temperature it is cooled so depending on that temperature that liquefaction process will happen so liquefaction of gases we will see the different process and cycle in detail in the upcoming lecture so today we are going to see the introduction to cryogenics so this is a history of low temperatures it is a sustained development of over 20, 120 years it is not instantaneously evolved it has taken over more than 120 years to develop the low temperature physics so you can see from 1860 then this is a really the major break points are shown here development of dewar then kamerling ons uh, invented this uh, superconductivity then glake <coughs> robinson and simon 
uh, the coolers then finally in around uh, in the 90s in 1990s only we could reach the liquid helium temperature now what are the peculiar effects when the temperature is lowered some materials or matter shows some peculiar effects when the temperature is lowered to the cryogenic range so for example these are some of the uh, effects vanishing of specific heat specific heats of substances some special uh, not of not for all the sub substances it will vanish specific heat will vanish what is specific heat you already studied right specific heat is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a substance of uh, unit mass by unit degree celsius or kelvin right similarly superconductivity producing superconductivity we will see what it is then ductile brittle transition in carbon steel when you take the case of carbon steel if you reduce the temperature of carbon steel to cryogenic range there will be the transition from ductile to brittle now coming to the applications in almost every field cryogenics have found its applications so in space science especially cryogenic fuels are being used as well as cryogenic cooling will be required for sensors electronic sensors then simulating the space chamber if you want to conduct an experiment how the electronic devices when you launch a rocket in the space launch vehicle how it will behave under the uh, extreme low temperatures you can simulate the space conditions on earth using the cryogenics then mechanical applications you can do a lot of heat treatment process at cryogenic temperatures then recycling of uh, pvc rubber could be done at this lower temperature range then coming to the medical applications in lot of surgeries cryogenic temperatures are used then to preserve the cell of the tissues it is used to preserve the even in food industry preservation of food certain foods cryogenic temperatures are required then coming to the gas industry specifically the liquefaction of gases gases are being liquefied and carried then separation methods gas liquid separation then storage for all these cryogenics are used then obviously the one of the most important applications of cryogen is superconductivity magnetic levitation trains and scanning mri scanning using superconductivity sub superconductive magnets are used in these techniques so these are some of the applications of cryogenics to name some of the applications we will see um, in detail the first one being the cryogenic processing so deep cryogenic treatment of castings tools or components in manufacturing industry are important in case of military instruments so in order to achieve special specific properties in military equipments cryogenic treatment of tools and components are pretty much needed then cryogenic hardening works by rearranging the structure of the metal you know there are different structures fcc bcc right iron carbon equilibrium diagram and all we have studied in material science so the structure of the material could be rearranged by cryogenic hardening works so it can improve the life span of metals even to 100 percentage to 300 percentage so these are uh, specifically applied to gun barrels and high performance engines in military uh, vehicles so materials are super cooled to improve their strength and durability materials are super cooled to improve their strength and durability so whenever the temperature um uh, is reduced their strength and durability improves 
Now coming to the variation of mechanical properties at low temperatures. As the temperature is lowered, you can see that the yield strength increases. The yield strength of the material increases, fatigue strength increases, but the impact strength will get reduced. Most plastics and rubber materials become brittle except Teflon and Kalef. So these materials, plastics and rubber materials become brittle at low temperature and hardness increases. So some mechanic, all these are mechanical properties, ductility increases, elastic modulus increases, all these properties will get affected when the temperature is lowered. Now thermal properties, coming to the thermal properties, the important thermal property is thermal conductivity, right? So for gases, the thermal conductivity decreases as the temperature is lowered to cryogenic range. For liquids, except hydrogen and helium, the thermal conductivity increases. So you can see the um, value of thermal conductivity here. What is the value of thermal conductivity for different um, materials at different temperatures? So at room temperature, these are the thermal conductivities. At 80 temperature, you can see So these are metals, the thermal conductivity decreases. For metals, uh, the thermal conductivity even you can see here is very negligible at 6 Kelvin temperature. Some other properties like specific heat, also known as B by characteristic temperature, so you can see here the specific heat of uh, different materials when the temperature is in the range of uh, 0 to 1 Kelvin what is happening to the materials some selected solids constant and magnanin con uh, this liquid helium So these are the variations in specific heat. So specific heats are vanished. These conditions you can see. The specific heat is 1 here. It is 10 to the power minus 1, 10 to the power minus 2. Coefficient of thermal expansion beta increases when the temperature is reduced to cryogenic range. Now, another important property as I mentioned earlier is superconductivity. It is the simultaneous disappearance of electrical resistance and appearance of perfect diamagnetism. So, simultaneously electrical resistance is completely disappearing as the, at the same time perfect diamagnetism will appear for the material, for certain materials when the temperature is lowered. It was invented by Kamerlingh Ons in 1911. So first example to be discovered was the element mercury which superconducts below 4.15 Kelvin. So when the temperature of mercury is lowered to below 4.15 Kelvin, it exhibits this phenomenon. So electrical resistance for mercury will be completely disappeared and it will become perfect diamagnet. So superconductors show a property of perfect diamagnetism which is also called as Meissner effect. So that showing of perfect diamagnetism when the temperature is lowered that is called Meissner effect for superconductors. So that Meissner effect is the guiding phenomenon for maglev, magnetic levitation uh, trains and vehicles. So in normal state, you can see here, in normal state, magnetic flux cannot penetrate a superconducting state. So in normal state, you can see the magnetic lines are penetrating. But in superconducting stage, the magnetic lines will not penetrate in the through the material. So these are the superconductivity properties. Specific heats increase separately when the material becomes superconductor, then thermoelectric effects 
all the thermoelectric effects will vanish thermal conductivity decreases abruptly electric resistance decreases abruptly to zero for type 1 semiconductors magnetic permeability suddenly decreases to zero so this is a very important property especially for this uh, mri scanning and uh, maglev superconductors so with that we will stop the session for today the introduction to brief introduction to cryogenics and the change in properties of metals when we cool them down to cryogenic temperatures and the important properties also we have discussed in this short session so keep watching we will meet with another interesting session in the upcoming days thank you